Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Messy Desk. My name is Scooter Roth. I'm a professional photographer here in northern New Jersey. And occasionally I sit back and I talk about certain different uh, tech issues that you may uh, come across in your uh, professional career. So uh, make sure to click subscribe and let's hope that you get some benefit out of today's video. What's up everybody, this is Scooter Roth and welcome back to another episode of The Messy Desk. So today I want to talk about some of these little universal flash drives that you can pick up at a store. So this one is 32 gigabytes, it's by Lexar. And there's a certain dilemma that comes with uh, using one of these types of uh, flash drives. So uh, the dilemma that I had is that I had a client that I want us to sit back and send a larger video file to. So the file is about five, six gigabytes uh, big. Now, you can send them online through services like WeTransfer, Plus Transfer. There's different uh, services that you can send a larger file to. But the client just, uh, you know, found that downloading files and stuff like that was a little bit challenging. And they just wanted me to throw it on a simple flash drive like this. So the problem is, is that you go, uh, so I'm a Windows user. And when you go and you put this onto a Windows platform and you transfer over, try to transfer over a five gigabyte file onto a simple flash drive like this, which is 32 gigabytes, and it says that the file is too large. So what's going on there? So that's what we're going to talk about today's video. So uh, as I mentioned that uh, when you load up one of these uh, 32 gigabyte flash drives or you know 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, whatever size of the flash drive it is, and you go to transfer over a simple 5 gigabyte file to it and it says that the file's too big. So a five gigabyte file is too big for a flash drive that can fit eight, 16, 32 gigabytes. So what's going on there? So uh, when you get these flash drives, they are in something called a uh, FAT32 file system. So the FAT32 file system is a uh, general file system that's somewhat modern and it can fit on a variety of different platforms. So uh, because of the fact that this is universal, it doesn't know whether you're going to try to use this flash drive, you know, let's say either in a phone, Android, or whether you're going to use it on Microsoft Windows or uh, the Mac system or Linux systems. So in order to make it uh, able to be used on a variety of different platforms like that, uh, it puts it in the FAT32 system. Uh, the problem is, is that FAT32 system has a 4 gigabyte limit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but uh, it does have that limit. So in order to sit back and put a larger size file onto one of these flash drives, you have to format one of these flash drives first. So you put, pop it into your computer. Uh, I'm a Windows user, so this is uh, specific to, to Windows. Uh, you put it in Windows, you right click, you hit format, and then you will see three options. So uh, you'll see that it's currently in the FAT32 system and you can either transfer it over to the XFAT system or you can transfer it over to something called the NTFS. So NTFS is a little bit more modern and it's a little bit more specific to the Microsoft Windows platform. Uh, so it has a little bit more security, a little more things like that. Um, if you don't know whether your client is going to be using Windows or whether they're going to be using one of these other platforms like a Mac or Linux or you know even on the Android phone or Google Chromecast, uh, or any of those type of platforms, then you're probably safer to transfer it over to XFAT. So when you get it, it's in FAT32. FAT32 has that file limit. If you transfer and format it over into the XFAT system or into NTFS, uh, you won't have that four gigabyte limit. So once you format it, you should be then be able to transfer over your five, six gigabyte file, put it onto the flash drive and send it out to your client and have no problem. And uh, so it's just a matter of which system that you want to put it onto. So uh, if you don't know what file system or platform that your client is going to be using, you can put it into XFAT. Uh, but if you know they're going to be using Windows, then it's better to put it into NTFS. Uh, so if you want to learn a little bit more about these different platforms and a little bit more about the, you know, the benefits and the pros and cons of each one, you can check out some of these videos here. Uh, but anyway, that's today's video. Nice, quick, simple, uh, a simple fix for uh, that problem. And uh, thank you for watching. Take care.